One of the major things I wanted to focus on on this bus since I bought it was the tires. And now after well over a year and a half, I'm finally putting these new back tires onto the bus. But the first thing we need to do is load these tires up and then bring them to a friend's shop so that we can put them on. Now, I don't have all the resources or the space right here in my driveway to put the tires on, so that's why we're heading to the shop to put these things on. I'm digging into my budget for safety on this one. I wanna make sure when I'm driving down the road, I'm in a safe vehicle, and to be a safe vehicle, I don't need dry rotting tires with no tread on the back of this bus. Now, for some reason, there were some technical difficulties with the camera, and I wasn't able to record us taking the tires off, but here's a video of just putting the tires on in reverse, and that's basically what we did. And in the center here, there was a divider ring that kind of spaced out the two rear tires in the back, just based off of the type of rims that are on this bus. So here is what the back end looks like with the tire and rim off, and we'll clean that up and fix it up while we're doing the tires. So here are the two old tires with the rims and then behind them are the new tires with no rims and we need to switch everything over. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna break the bead and we're gonna add a bunch of this soapy water which is basically just a lubricant to help us get the tires on and off of these rims. So after we break the bead, here we are using a breaker bar to first get the one side of the tire off and then we're just working our way around to get the entire one side and we'll flip the tire over to get the other side. Now the other side is a little bit tricky. We use these two breaker bars here and we kind of just use the leverage and the weight of the tire to just get the rim off. Once the rim is off, we'll clean the rim up. We'll add some soapy water to the new tire and then we'll start by getting one side of the new tire on with the sledgehammer here. It's just setting the bead or setting the bead over the one edge of the rim. And then the other side of the tire, we're just using one single breaker bar to get the tire back on and then we can add some air to it. This is a little bit more time consuming and a little bit harder just based off of using this one breaker bar, but it is getting the job done and it is working perfectly fine. Now, this is the second tire for the one side in the back of the bus, and it's kind of given us some difficulties, so to get that last bead set, or that last bead over the rim of the tire, we just used a sledgehammer. Now, to get the air in and to set the bead, we used this uh, device that was a little bit, um, what I say, uh, scary? and it kind of just throws air into the tire and sets the bead for us. After the tires are fully filled up with air, around 100 PSI, we can put the tires back onto the bus. And starting with the inside tire, the rims are the exact same, but you can see on the old rims where they set in, so we knew which one was the inside and the outside tire. This made things easier when putting the rims back on. We needed to jack the bus up a little bit more, just based off these tires being a little bit bigger in diameter. We made sure that we had wheel chucks on the front of the bus, so that the bus didn't roll at all. After that, we started to secure the tire, and then you can see right here, all I'm doing is rotating the tire to make sure that it's 100% straight. You need to make sure that the tire is completely straight when it's on here, just based off of these rims. As you can see, here are the tires completely set and on the bus. We did have an issue with one of the actual brake chambers that we needed to replace in the back, but that wasn't an issue. It took about an hour, got the part, replaced it down at the shop. So there you have it, these new back tires, right? here are on the bus and it's driving perfectly. So now I don't really have to worry about taking this thing on long trips with the tires that are on the bus. Since they're brand new, they have tread and they're not dry riding. So with that said, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video.